Henry Matisse stated, there are always flowers for those who want to see them. Today, there are many te technological advances that keep us distracted from seeing the beauty of flowers. One way to experience a flower's beauty in a new light is through photography. Learning how to properly take photograph flowers can bring enjoyment and beauty to one's life. Everyone has a camera and has wanted to capture something interesting or beautiful. And here are a few tips that can help you in capturing beautiful flowers. I have taken many photos of flowers because they're my favorite thing to take photographs of. And I enjoy shooting them at different angles to make them interesting. In, in order to capture the perfect flower photo, there are a few things that you need to know. You need to know the materials needed, where you're going to capture the flower, and deciding the angle, and then how to edit the flower once you have the image. Now let's begin on what you will photograph the flowers with. You need to decide on a digital camera or a film camera. And I use a digital camera because I find that it is easier to edit the flower, the flower or any image that you take with it after. And it is easier than film because you have to wait longer to have the film developed. You can use tripods to stabilize the camera so it won't, it will make the image more presentable. And you can use different lenses that will help in angling the photo to be close up or far away. Now that you have your material, you need to decide on the location. There are many different locations in Clarksville that you can choose from. You can decide near water, by the river, or the marina. You can also choose gardens. There are a few in Nashville, such as Cheekwood Botanical Gardens and Bell Mead Plantation, which are both places to have great opportunities to photograph flowers. You also need to decide on what time of day you want to come, in the morning or the afternoon or the evening. And these will help in deciding the angle in which you will capture a flower. Knowing the location is important, and now you can, that you have the information, you can take action. But how do you photograph a flower that's different from the rest? Here are a few techniques in helping producing a unique photograph. Flower photography tips demonstrate that you can focus on different points of the flower, such as the petals, maybe water droplets that are on the petals, and the stem. You can use different background ideas, such as where, it is, where the flower is located, or you can get colored cards that can give it a studio effect. Now that you have your image, you need to use different editing tools, well you don't have to use different editing tools, but these are helpful in making the photograph different. I have, according to Sherry L. Rollins, you can use cropping, a uh, different color, you can add different colors, um, the brightness, you can change to make it brighter or dull, and this photograph is a before, and here's the after and I focused on the flower, made it blurry on the edges, and I you brightened it up. But those are different techniques that you can use to edit flowers. Photography may not be something that you're interested in, but I hope that with this, these steps of finding the materials you need, the location, different angles, and different editing tips, that whenever you do, they will help. And if you ever are interested in photographing flowers, you know these few steps that will guide you in capturing the perfect photo.